First thing we do prior to doing a hair test is wash our hands. Uh, you can wear gloves if you'd like. We feel like we can do a better job if we don't. If you do find someone's hair who is extremely dirty or if there are things crawling in it, do not do that hair. They need to go home and wash their hair. If it's heavy with gel or hair products, take a paper towel and wet it and wipe that stuff out of the hair. The hair does go through a wash prior to testing. We need to have it as clean as possible and definitely nothing with any creepy crawlies in it. Don't cut it. After you've washed your hands and explained the procedure to everyone, and we explain it to everyone no matter if they're here for the third or fourth time, we still run through the procedure with them. Next thing we're going to do is clean the scissors and let the client see you clean the scissors so that they know that the scissors are clean prior to us using them. Clean the outside and inside of the blades. And we use alcohol swabs here. Okay. Then you have turned the person around. That's when you take your time to look at their hair and see how it looks and ask them a few questions about it if you need to. Uh, is there anything they would like for you to do? If we're doing a date rate panel, the best place to get hair for that test is the date. That's where all the newest growth will be. So if it's a date rate panel, that's the only time you'd really want to use the, the nape of the neck. We try to skip around to get our three spots. We don't take big plugs out of people's hair because it shows. It looks bad. So we want them to look good. So we take it in three different areas, each one the size at the end of a pencil. We're going to do one on my hair. Make sure the hair you're getting is a segment that's an inch and a half long. We want to make sure it's the size of the end of a pencil. You lay your blades as close to the scalp as you possibly can prior to cutting and cut it even with the scalp. Then you're going to take the hair and lay in the envelope, follicle end at the pointy end of the foil. In a real test, there'd be three of those, but since we're doing my own personal hair, there's only going to be one. And fold it up neatly, closing the ends, and place it in the envelope. If the hair is long, long hair, you wind it around the foil as much as you can to keep it neat. People are always very surprised by the amount of hair it does take to do the test. But as I like to tell them all the time, this isn't CSI. We don't solve the murder with one hair. It takes a lot of hair to do hair testing. So TV doesn't do us a whole lot of favors. And that's it. After you seal your envelope up, you're done.